The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. O oh Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. I will sing of loyalty and of justice to you, O Lord, I will sing. As we celebrate this 40th anniversary of our beloved Missionary Society, we come to give thanks unto the Lord, for he is worthy of the praise. Does anybody agree that God is worthy this morning? Then let's lift our voices, give him glory, honor, and praise. Oh, give thanks, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he's good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he, he's good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he, he's good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he, yes, he. My God's worthy, for he's good, for he is worthy, yes, worthy. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he, he's good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he. He is worthy, my God's worthy, he's good, for he is worthy, yes, worthy. Come on, let's do it one more time. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he, my God, is good. Oh, give thanks. This morning, hallelujah. Remain standing for the opening hymn. The opening hymn is found on page one of your hymn book. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. My great redeemer's praise. The glories of our God and King. The triumph of his grace. 
without any further lining, let us sing to the glory of God all six of these great verses unto the Lord. waking us up this morning, Lord God, and just thanking you for allowing us to be here in our right minds, Lord God. Being here, Lord God, to hear your word, to hear your voice, to hear your Holy Spirit speak to us, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for just ushering in your presence among us today, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for the yesterday, Lord God. We thank you for tomorrow, Lord God. We thank you for just being every place that we need you to be right now, Lord God. We thank you for being with those that are sick and shut in right now, Lord God. We thank you for those being with those that are bereaved right now, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that your presence is among us today, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for speaking to the musicians, Lord God, speaking to the sing, the psalmists, Lord God. We thank you for allowing each pew that's empty, Lord God, to be filled in spirit, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, as we continue to move on and be your people, Lord God, that you are our God, that we give you all glory, we give you all honor today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for this missionary day, Lord God. Thank you that you have called each of us to be missionaries, Lord God, to do the mission work, Lord God, that's outside the church, Lord God, to do the mission work, Lord God, that's in our neighborhoods, Lord God, to be the men and women you have called us to be, Lord God, on our jobs, Lord God. To allow your Holy Spirit, Lord God, to just lead and guide us and to direct us into all newness, Lord God, wherever we go, Lord God, so that we can share the good news, Lord God. So we thank you that the word today, Lord God, will go forth like never before, Lord God, that it will challenge us, Lord God, that it will pierce us, Lord God, and it will plant a seed for us to be those people you have called us to be, Lord God, and set aside to do. Lord God, we thank you for the preacher this morning, Lord God, as she goes forth, just be with her, speak to her, Lord God, and allow your words to just go forth. This we ask and we thank you for your many blessings. In Jesus' name, amen.
Everybody keep, keep on making Keep on, come on. Making a way. Opening door. Take good care. It keeps on. Opening door. It's taking care. Come on, Altos, join them. Making a way. When I think of his goodness. And all he's done for me, he keeps on making a way, open door, take good care. Come on, guys, come on. Open door, take good care. He keeps on. You heard me say it one more time. Open door. He keeps on making way. Open door. Taking care. Come on now, so what you got? Taking care of me. 
He keeps on making a way. Open doors. Take, come on, I want to hear it one more time. He keeps on making a way. Open doors. Take his care. He keeps on making a way. morning comes from Matthews 6, 5 through 8, Acts 1 through uh, 1, chapter 1, verse 8, and John, the 13th chapter, 12 through the 17th verse. And it reads, but when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father who is, who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be in my witness, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Altogether, very truly I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. From all that dwell below the skies, let the Creator's praise arise, let the Redeemer's name be sung through every land by every tongue. Out of the house of bondage, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, 
with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. It is time for our tithes and offering. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Bless this offering that it may go forth to do your work. Bless those who can give and give, and those who have the desire to give but are unable. Amen. Amen. The tithers may come forward. <laughs> special envelopes for today. So if you need a special envelope, please request one from the ushers. Thank you. At this time, my ushers may come forward.
Good morning, St. James. It is at this time that we acknowledge our visitors. So as I call your names, would you please stand and remain standing until you've been recognized? This with us today is Curly Perkins. She's a first time guest. She's all the way from Park Forest, Illinois. And she was invited by Sister Lily Richmond. Would you remain standing, please? Also visiting with us today is Sister Helena Hunt, a returning guest from Chicago. Also invited by Sister Lily Richmond. Also visiting with us is Stalfo King, our first time guest. From Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Amen. Was invited by his brother, Brother Thaddeus King. Yeah. And his sister in law, Sister Jennifer King. Amen. Visit with us is Pastor Donnell and Sandra Alexander, first time guest. Yeah. All the way from Barclay, Georgia. and they learned about the church from their uncle, George Sams. If we have any other visitors, would you please stand? Amen, amen. We extend a warm, sincere welcome to each of you. We thank you so much for coming out to worship with us on this annual missionary day. Now, if any of you without a church home, Come and join us here at St. James. Amen. And for those of you who are traveling from out of town, we pray for your traveling grace. Again, we welcome you, and we thank each of you for coming, and you may be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations, graduates. Please complete the graduation registration form located in the kiosk in the annex. All forms must be turned in by Sunday, May 31st, 2015. Again, all forms must be turned in by Sunday, May 31st, 2015. Graduates will be recognized on Sunday, June 21st at the 1030 service. All other announcements will be made by the pastor and thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Sister Tanksley, for the announcements this morning. And we certainly want to say Welcome to all of our visitors this morning and thank you for your presence here with us on this 40th celebration of the Missionary Day. Uh, I especially want to welcome Pastor, I believe it was Alexander and Mrs. Alexander. Uh, I know your uncle real well and we are so happy to meet you today. Uh, we look forward to talking to you after service. Um, your uncle is a very special person to us here. Amen. Amen. Um, let me also say to all of our visitors how grateful we are that you are here. And we believe in God that you're going to be blessed in a way that you're going to count today as one of the special days in your life because the Lord Jesus will speak to you through something that happens in this worship experience. And of course, we want to thank God for our missionaries. Amen. Hallelujah. For this very fine day that they have been working and uh, praying and planning and getting together for, and they're just looking all beautiful over there. We thank God for all of you as you're led on by Sister Richmond and doing a very fine job of representing the Missionary Society of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. May you continue to be blessed. Yesterday was a great day. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Minister Erica Weathers blessed us extremely well yesterday morning. And we just had a good time. And you know, anytime you serve us food, we're gonna have a good time. And we had a wonderful breakfast on yesterday. We thank you for how everything has gone 
thus far. This morning we had another great missionary uh, service is led on by uh, Reverend Cannon as he preached the gospel this morning. And we're just grateful. We're just grateful. All of these homegrown preachers. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. And we'll be coming up in a few minutes with one more. Seeing how God is blessing us. Don't tell me God is not a good God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, sharing with you this morning that uh, Mother Jean Sanford went home to be with the Lord. Many of you already know, but her homegoing celebration will be Friday morning here. Uh, 9.30 to 10.30 will be the visitation and pre-passed hour. And then at, at 10.30 we will begin the homegoing celebration we encourage and ask of you to please be in prayer for her children and other members of her family for traveling grace and mercies, as well as God giving them the strength to release her back to him. She's, she's done her work and done a very good job of it. And so we are coming to celebrate her life here on Friday. We're asking the choir as best you can and of course, everyone else who can, we want you to be here to encourage the family. As I've said in many times before, there is nothing in the world like having people to share with you the burden of losing a family member. When people come by and shake your hand and say, um, you're gonna get through this, uh, I'm praying for you, any of those sentiments, it does something for you. It does something for you. So I want to encourage you, and I'm not asking you if you knew Sister Stanford or not. I'm telling you that one day is going to be your time. One day is going to be your time. Your family is going to have to sit here with you, and you want somebody to encourage them. So we're not talking about who you know. If you know Jesus, amen, if you've been born again and you know heartache and pain, then you know it goes so much better with support. So let us be here for one another. Those who cannot be here, be in fervent prayer. Be in fervent prayer goes a long way to help a family get through hours such as that. These are people who, burying, who are burying their mother. Their mothers were dead on, was dead on Mother's Day. And that's not easy. That's not easy. That's not easy. That is not easy. Any day would be rough, but then at Mother's Day, that's rough. So we encourage you to keep them in your prayers. There uh, a number of sick and shut-ins. Sister Mary is going to share them with you when she comes. Uh, but there are a lot of announcements in our bulletin that you really want to take note of because we are dependent upon you to read and know what is going on in the church. Uh, there are some things that we really want you to be a part of. But I will say that on next Saturday, all of our board meetings, our steward and trustee board at 9 o'clock, official board at 10.30, quarterly conference at 12. Uh, we make, want you to make sure that if you have reports to hit, get ready, you need to have them ready, and I need to have signed them before the presiding elder gets here. Amen? Amen. Amen. We don't want to be get ready when he gets here. We want to be ready when he gets here. All right. I believe that covers what I need to share with you. And we're going to move out of your way and allow the next item to come, which is the altar, which is the altar call of prayer. Sister Mary Brown, won't you receive her now? Amen. Good morning, St. James. Oh, what a joy it is to be in God's service, working, 
singing and praying for the master every day. I'm delighted. I am overwhelmed to stand here and speak for the missionaries this morning and to let you know that we are still on our heavenly way. We are still, as uh, old man Abraham said, we are looking for that city. Uh, 40 years, 40 years is a pretty long time, but we are still in search of that city. And we are working, we are building, and we are doing the very best we can, laboring sometime under circumstances that are not really the best circumstances. But because of our dedication, and because of our commitment, and also because of our obligations, we are struggling to move on to higher grounds. The choir sung of the congregation this morning, the opening hymn, Oh, for a thousand tongues that I might sing. I heard the story that was on Charles Wesley's mind when he penned the words to that hymn. He was talking about when the Lord converted him. It was on his 40th birthday. And someone asked him what would he like for a birthday gift. When he began to look back over his journey, as we began to look back over our journey, uh -huh. he was moved to share with the, uh, with the assistant that was with him. Uh -huh. If he just had a thousand tongues, uh -huh. and that's what we come to you saying this morning, my brothers and sisters, uh -huh. If we had a thousand tongues, it wouldn't be enough to give God the praise and the thanksgiving for all that he has done for us. So we come humble in spirit this morning and rejoicing as we come to you to try and give it set aside this time to say thank you. So the altar is now open, and will you please come, but let me share with you some special prayers. As you have heard the pastor mention about Sister Sanford and how her family needs to pray. We all have been there, and we all need that know at this time, if we ever needed prayer and needed the comfort and the assistance of our church family, now is the time. So let us be in prayer. Let's remember that family as we come to the altar this morning. Also, Brother John Curtis, one of our stewards, needs your prayers. Uh, Brother Mark Upchurch needs your prayers. Mother Lottie Hicks, Brother Claiborne, Brother Wade Glover, Sister Annie Ford, and Sister Lucia Moore, who is the mother of our own sister Annie Huey and the grandmother of our speaker for this morning. So won't you please come to the altar as the choir would lead us in singing Beams of heaven. The songwriter says, Beams of heaven as I go through this wilderness below. Guide my feet in peaceful ways. Turn my midnights into days. When in the darkness I may go, faith always sees a ray of hope. And soon from all life's griefs and dangers, I shall be free someday. I do not know how long it will be, not what the future holds for me. But this I know, and this I know, if Jesus leads me, I'll get home someday. That is what keeps us moving on. All of these years, that's what keeps the Jeanette Gaddis Missionary Society moving on. If God leads us, it'll be all right, and it will be worth the struggle. So once you remember these people in prayer, as you come this morning and talk to God in your own way. Tell him what you need.
promise never to leave us. Oh, yes, we'll be. It'll be all right someday. Just help us to be your ambassadors. 
that we may carry out the mission that you have ordained for us to carry out. And then, Lord, when it's your time to call and ours to go, we ask you to give us a home where the wicked would cease from trouble and the weary souls would be at rest. Somewhere beyond the golden sunset, receive our souls where we may be in peace with all forever and spend eternity with you. These, this is my feeble prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Interesting that the altar call song, I'll Make It Home Someday, is kind of the guiding remarks of my introduction of the speaker this morning. I have a rule that if I know the speaker and we have a connection, a bond, a friendship, I don't read biographies because I think that is a tad bit dishonest. And instead, I will tell you what I know from spirit and truth. Our speaker this morning is a missionary in the truest sense, an urban missionary. She's my friend, she's my boss, and it is in that capacity that I've seen her in her anointing and calling. Yeah. As she tells children tossed away by the system, you will make it home someday. Okay. Not just spiritually, uh -huh. but naturally. Yeah. I've seen this beautiful woman of God instill in them something that many don't have, even as adults, the belief in a better tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. This woman is fierce. She knows the AME discipline inside and out. <laughs> she knows that hymnal inside and out. She's an administrator, she's brilliant, and she's anointed. Yeah. The running joke between she and I is the three Lysentrids. I'm a Star Trek junkie. I call us Kirk, Spock, and McCoy, and I'll let you all decide who's who. <laughs> but I will tell you who she is. Unequivocally, that is Mr. Spock. That is the one that keeps you straight. That is the one that's like, that's not really a good idea. And that's really the one that's often pulling my pants leg on the front row that y'all can't see. <laughs> If there was a river rationale and defense for women in the ministry, which in 2015 we should not have to do, but just in case there is a needed defense, it is Sabrina Huey. All right. All right. I love this sister. Thank you. And in the black church, you ain't supposed to say that about another sister without all the rumors, but rumor away, I love this sister. All right. She's entrusted me to mentor her oldest son. Yeah. I've entrusted her with my career. My Lord. That's a bond. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't think I have anything else to say other than this morning speaker is a missionary. All right. If you can stretch your definition of a missionary to encompass urban realities and broken souls right. and babies that don't have a better tomorrow and somebody days in, day out, pushes to give them that better tomorrow. Then after the choir, the next voice you will hear is my friend and colleague, my Mr. Spock, <laughs> Minister Sabrina Huey. Yeah.
God. How many of you feel blessed this morning? and mercy. Right now I've got oh, 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 oh so before you start to complain count your blessings you'll be amazed I won't complain no, no cause I'm blessed come on, listen to this again if you want See a miracle. Just look at me. Take a look at me. Take a look at me. I've been blessed, kept by your goodness and mercy. Right now I've got oh. So before you start to complain, count your blessings. You'll be amazed. So don't complain. No, no, I'm blessed. Come on, let's give God some praise. I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed. When I woke up this morning, with the use of my limbs, I thank God. Oh, I'm blessed. I'm just wondrously blessed. I won't complain. No, I won't complain. Don't, 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 don't you complain. No, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Thank you, Jesus. For the food I eat, for a place to sleep, for my health and my strength, I could have been dead in my grave. But he saved my soul and he made me whole. I won't complain. I, I, I won't complain. Don't, 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 don't you complain. No, because I'm blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
thank you, Jesus, for the food I eat, for the place to sleep, for my health and my strength. I could have been dead. I won't complain. Don't you complain. No. Don't you complain. I'm blessed. 